Transition. Why did I choose transition? Because we're literally in a state of transition right now. So we've been on lockdown, as James had mentioned earlier, for the last two months. Some of this has been good. Some of this has gone, gotten us just a little on edge, but we are in a state of transition right now, depending upon where you're at in the world right now. So here in Las Vegas, we are um, semi-open. We have businesses that are serving people. Uh, actually, Rex was a, is a Toastmaster member of ours, and he just got back to work for the first time today at his uh, dentist's office. So that's really exciting. But we're transitioning. We got to figure out how we went from being sheltered in place now to get back to work and then now how to deal with this new world that we're, we're living in where we're more conscious about, you know, the environment, more conscious about how we interact with one another. And that's going to be an adjustment period that we're going to have to navigate at least for this, these next few weeks. I wanted to look up the word transition. This is something that I've used all the time and I haven't really given a whole lot of thought about what it means for the word transition. So I looked this up on online and the definition of transition is, uh, is a change from one thing to the next, either an action or state of being. Mana had just mentioned a little bit earlier that he's transitioning from being a student at UNLV now to being a graduate. And, the, and Mana is so ambitious that he's already in his master's degree program. So he's not even sleeping on this transition period. He's jumping right into the next activity and he's taking it, taking it on. So congratulations to you, Mana. Job well done and looking forward to hearing how you fare in your next transition in life. And speaking of transitions, there's like three types of transitions that I can think about. So we have transitions of responsibility. We do quite a few of those things here in Toastmasters. You're not gonna really see that transition of power that we normally would do in the Toastmasters meeting. We're gonna hand it off, but what typically in Toastmasters, we shake that hand, we have the one person come up on the stage and the next person get off. That handshake is the transfer of power. That's, that's a physical example of what a transition looks like. But we have transitions of power in, in politics, we have transitions of power in, in business and other types of organizations. Uh, stages, that's another transition I can think about. So we talked about Mana graduating from UNLV. I have two kids of my own that are getting ready to transition to the next state. And then even a, a more serious transition I'll, I'll, I'll share with you guys since we're all family here. My wife went through a transition. She actually lost her job unrelated to COVID but lost her job because the hospital decided to close their doors and then transition to some other activities. So we're always in a constant state of transitions. We're always trying to figure out how to navigate these transitions. Some of these transitions are, are spiritual. Some of these are just physical, but we deal with them in all, all different shapes and forms. So we'll be talking a little bit more about this theme about transitions. And this is something to think about as we're moving along this meeting. All right, so we have done our speeches and our evaluation for the speakers, done a great job with that. We're gonna quickly transition here to table topics. I just wanna talk about um, briefly just a, a transition that I've, I've dealt with um, back in my own life. So one of the major transitions that I had was in 2004 when I left home and then I started my journey in the military. I got married around that same time. And then I, I moved to Dayton, Ohio, moved to a completely different area from earthquakes to snow on the ground, completely foreign to me. And it was one transition that I had to try to figure out over a short period of time before I came back home and came back to the West Coast where it's a lot warmer. So we have um, spiritual transitions, just like with uh, Robin had talked about in her speech. We have some, some physical transitions moving from one level to the next. And then now we're gonna move to this next level of communication with James, he's going to quiz us and then challenge us on how we can get better with impromptu speaking. Great job, everybody. And last thing I'll talk about with transitions, we, we, we talked about some, some personal transitions. We talked about moving up to different levels. There's a couple different examples in the Bible that, that have some pretty great and profound transitions. So a couple I'll mention is the, the transition from, from judges to kings. That was a big transition and a, a, a big change for the people of Israel because they had uh, a different set of, or 
going from a different set of leaders to one leader ruling over the people and then providing that direction um, for, for the people at that time. Uh, the transfer of power specifically from Saul to David, that's something I read here recently. And that was a, a pretty big transition, especially since that David realized that, you know, he could have intervene and then maybe got into the kingship a little bit early, but he couldn't put his hands on God's anointed. So he respected that initial power given to, to uh, Saul and then waited until it was his time for that transition of power to come to him through the kingdom. And then lastly, the uh, uh, Jesus leaving this earth and then bring the Holy Spirit down to, to govern us and to guide us and lead us in all ways. So those are the, some three biblical examples of transitions. So as we talked about transitions and as we get to leave this meeting, I want you to think about your, your next set of transitions. So this may be our last virtual meeting. We'll, we'll kind of find out here in the next few weeks, but just keep in mind what you've learned from this experience, you know, how you liked it, what you didn't like about it, and then how you can grow and improve and use this for something in the here, the future, transitioning to new opportunities. So we have people going to college, we have people looking for new job opportunities. Um, and then even though this year hasn't gone as, as we would have liked it to have gone with, with the pandemic and maybe some cancellations and some delays, there's still time. So I, I would say um, differently from what people have said so far about 2020, about 2020 being canceled, that's not true. It's delayed, delayed and not canceled. So keep that in mind and realize that there's still time and we're about halfway done, halfway done with this year. And there's still an opportunity to make this the best year of our lives.